I'm a senior research specialist at the Division of Perceptual Studies at the University of Virginia Health System. A lot of the work on near-death experiences has focused on understanding the phenomenon. So for example, what happens during an NDE? Uh, who are the types of people that it happens to? How does it affect people who have that experience? There's also some work on the implication of this phenomenon for the mind and brain relationship. We collect narratives and get narratives from thousands of people about the experiences that they've had. And we collect these narratives in a rigorous manner where we turn everything into data and variables that allows us to mine this database to look for different patterns and trends within each phenomenon we study. So a current study we have that I'm very passionate about is research on how to support near-death experiencers. We're asking them in their own words, what are the ways that you sought support after the experience? Was it helpful to you? How was it helpful? What was not helpful? And what were the barriers to seeking support? Many of the people we hear from are very happy and grateful that there is someone doing research on these phenomena because there's, there's not a lot of information out there and I have the sense that a lot of that is underreported. Also something we, we hear on a regular basis, I am so glad to hear that someone is doing this research in a university setting. What makes this research unique is that the implications of these phenomena can completely shatter our current understanding of the mind and brain relationship, of what we think it means to be human. Real science is about following the data, even if it leads us to a place that's counter to our intuition or to our current understanding of reality.